for me and Andy and Billy. We're up, I've done my ways, and it's my birthday today. It's a bank holiday Monday, and we're heading up, raised back of the Dudley Wagon Pike, and we'll see where we get from there. Maybe Nethermost Pike. Morning, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Look at the sun coming up over on Steel Fell. I've done my ways behind me, so we'll catch you later. back now. Just gonna follow this all the way up to Grisdale Tarn and the route zigzags from Grisdale Tarn up to Dolly Wagon Pike. You get some nice cascades and waterfalls along ways back. But we're in the shade this morning. That's the sun on the other side. So we'll be in the shade for a bit. It's a beautiful day.
there's Fairfield. Behind me is Dolly Rug and Pike. You can actually go up that wall straight up. And for five minutes I was actually thinking about it, but I've decided not to. We're gonna walk along the tarn and go up the zigzag path onto Dolly Rug and Pike. Wow. And there's Seat Sandal. Quite a week of where we were last week. Where's the Tarn? Six Angle, Langdales. You can just see Hess Pike, Scarfell Pike, dusting of snow. And the last zigzag now. It's a bit of a pull up here. But it's a really good stepped path. Super excited today. The last time I was up Dolly Rag and Pike, it was a miserable day. No views at all. Today, I've just reached the snow line. It's clear, blue skies, oh, clear views. Wow. Look at that. Billy, come here. Sit Sunday. Sit Sunday. Wow. That's the long valley from Glen Ridding all the way up to Blythe Tarn. Got striding edge. And that's Dolly Wagon. Look at these views. Grasdale Tarn. You can see over to the Scarfells. What a day.
Wagon Pike Summit. That's the ridge over to Nethermost Pike, which is the flat, the flattish top there. Helvellyn is behind it, which looks like a hairbrush right now. That's the ridge going down Nethermost Pike. What's that ridge called, Andy? East Ridge. East Ridge. You've got Striding Edge, Catstock and Pine. You've got Birkhouse Moor, where you've got the wall running along the top. That's the summit. of Nethermost Pike. I think that was just a shelter before. Look at that. That's quite thick down there. In drifts. That's Hilvelin. Cat's Die Cam is the pointed one. Striding Edge. Wow. That striding edge. What a day. Look how busy it is up on Hill Velen. That side cam looks amazing. All white. A pyramid. these clouds coming in over there. It's a bit ominous. Over to the coast. You can just see the glint of the Irish Sea. Just heading off Nethermost Pike now. We're going to skirt back round to where the post is at Donny Wagon Pike and then head off down Willy Wife Moor back to Dunmel Ways. There is no path, just like tussocky rough grass with some stones in it, so you've got to be careful. Uh, we're going to head to Regal Knot and back down to Dunmel Rays. Yeah, it's quite steep coming off Willy Wife Moor at the top, at the start. <laughs> and it is off piste, so you've got to be careful. But look at that, it's just one broad expanse of bog and moorland. And Beautiful. You, yeah, and you get great views and you get the sun setting all the way down. You're facing the sun. That's Seat Sandal. So yeah, and 
then once you get past that black bit, it drops steeply again to red or not. Right, probably about halfway across really wide more now. I would probably advise, if you're not used to being off piste and you really don't like deep tussocks, um, really boggy ground, big holes of bogs that you can't actually see because of the tussocks so high, really rough ground, the feeling that nobody has walked here ever because no one else would be that stupid. <laughs> then maybe avoid Willie Wife more. <laughs> Probably wasn't the best decision to come this way, but it makes it a circular route, so. Just saying, if you're not used to that kind of ground, I wouldn't do this route. I would just do a linear. <laughs> oh look, there's another huge bog that Billy's just gone into. That's where we've just descended. That's Dolly Wagon Pike. Going along to the flanks of Leather Rose Pike. Whereas that could be um, is that Brown Cove along there. But anyway, that's where we've descended. Coming along the bog from hell. <laughs> to Regal Knot and I think it's quite steep getting off it. We're heading down there to the A591. We can see the cars parked just there on the left. But look at that light. Regal Knot. Uh -huh. Reggie Knot. Regal Knot. There's Helm Crag, the A591 that we're going to head back down to. Still fell. Over to the Beacon. Up onto Elsgar. Fell me. The skidder lit off in the background. now because the sun's nearly setting we're just coming off Riggle North back to the A591 it's been a cracking day superb weather superb views within the snow line absolutely epic bye 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 <laughs> bye for now hope you enjoy the video see you soon happy new year happy new year happy bye birthday. thank you <laughs> A 
cut. <laughs> Whatever you call that. It's quite a big lay-by. And you literally access the path via that stile next to the gate. The gate's locked, unfortunately, so if you've got a dog, a big dog, it's quite tricky to get over that stile. But then you can continue along the grass verge with care, because it's a very fast road. There's a ladder stile, which is easy for your dog to get up. Bit further on.